You see, the relationship between Hollywood and guns is very much an abusive relationship. Hollywood has no problems glorifying and even downright fetishizing firearms in their movies, which, by and large, the actors, producers, and the people in Hollywood hate guns in their real life. And even if you're an actor that does like guns and supports the Second Amendment in your real life, you can't really talk about it because they'll blackball you. So when I heard the actress Megan Good say this, I was taken back because you're not allowed to be openly pro-gun in Hollywood. You know, we've been talking about guns in the, in the Second Amendment, and you, you're from California, right? Yeah. And there's been a, a lot of home invasions. Do you, do you think you need a gun? You know what's crazy is for a long time I felt like I didn't, but now with everything that's going on, I would feel more comfortable with a gun. Really? The reason before, my thought was like, if something did happen to me, would I have the time to pull out a gun to defend myself? But I think with like the home invasions and everything, if someone breaks into my house and I have time to grab my gun, I don't want to kill anybody or hurt anybody, but I will defend myself. Wow. So. I'm, I'm happy to hear that. How does Devon feel about that? Because, you know, he's a pastor, so it's either the gun or the Bible, <laughs> but you can have both. Um, well, you know, you could have both. I, I have to ask him how he feels about that. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. The biggest takeaway from this video clip is the lack of politics and ideology. Megan didn't wax poetic about having a come to Jesus moment about becoming a Democrat or Republican. She didn't do a deep sea dive into her personal conflict with her inner ideology. She was confronted with reality and she took reality for what it was. And if she's at home and someone breaks into her home, she wants the best thing possible to stop them from hurting her. And whether you like it or not, that thing is a gun. It's not a police officer that's minutes away while a criminal is actually in your house. It's not a baseball bat. It's not a golf club. It's not a knife. It's a gun. And it's not about killing people either. It's about stopping someone who's trying to hurt you and the people that you love. The very likely possibility that a criminal will die is simply a byproduct of the gun's effectiveness at stopping someone from killing you. I always say at the end of my videos that guns and the Second Amendment are not political. A criminal doesn't care if you're a liberal or conservative, Democrat or Republican. The same way you're not going to care if a criminal is a liberal or conservative, Democrat or Republican. You just want them to stop trying to kill you. The greatest strategy that anti-gunners have used to undermine the Second Amendment is to create a divide about the Second Amendment based on party and political ideological lines. I've literally heard people say that they're anti-gun because they're Democrat or even some people saying that they're pro-gun because they're Republican. That's lunacy. Your ideological or political affiliations mean nothing if you can't protect the most sacred thing you have, which is life and the people that you love. Megan Good initially thought she wouldn't be able to pull a gun out in time to defend herself. But all she needs is training, and all of those insecurities go out the window. The learning curve to use a gun effectively to defend yourself and your life is actually pretty low. Problem is that most people don't even think about getting training and anti-gun politicians and groups do their best to make access to training as hard and complicated as possible so that most people never really realize how easy it is to become good enough with a gun to defend yourself effectively. Right now, LA is a quiet free-for-all for criminals and a lot of people are becoming victims and the people there are slowly starting to wake up to the reality that when it really and truly counts, you can't depend on the government to protect you and keep you safe from criminals. They can come and arrest them after the fact, but more times than not, they won't be there to stop the actual act. So stop overcomplicating the firearm discussion. Criminals already have guns. So logic says you need one too. So buy a gun and get training and then get more training. Guns aren't political. That's why I need your help getting this message to spread on YouTube by clicking the thumbs up button, leaving a comment to let me know what you think of the video, then subscribing to the channel. But most importantly, click that bell symbol. For products featured in this video, click the links in the description.